on a very nice Saturday afternoon across Southeast Texas. Take a look at our time lapse taking you back from this morning into late this afternoon. The development of the cumulus clouds working in from the west and northwest ahead of a weak cool front that's worked through the area. Notice the clouds trying to puff up into the atmosphere. Just no success with high pressure in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. That combined with uh, lots of low level moisture and dry mid levels just not allowing any showers to develop with that dry air aloft. Our roofing 911 SkyCam network up in Jasper. Temperatures are slowly cooling behind that front down into the lower 60s and we should see some 50s coming up by morning and the winds overnight tonight. Not too bad, not compared to what they were yesterday and the day before. Notice a light northerly flow as that weak front has worked in and throughout the day tomorrow we'll have northeast to easterly winds pretty light. So watch out. It could be a little bit of patchy fog later tonight and tomorrow morning, but not nearly as bad as what we had last night and this morning. In fact, looking at visibility is pretty good tonight. 9 to 12 miles. Notice where the fog is at right along the coast and offshore where there is a dense fog advisory in effect for the coastal areas. We're still pretty warm mid to upper 60s, but it's down to 64 Jasper, 60 and Lufkin. So the cool air slowly coming in. You'll notice it tomorrow morning. We should start out the day in the upper 50s to lower 60s, so a little bit cooler. Back down to 52 Waco, 50 Dallas. It's pretty chilly off to our northwest, 42 in Amarillo, 39 degrees in Little Rock. Of course, we're still in the 60s. We're running about where we were the same time last night, if not a couple of degrees warmer. Highs today right about 80 degrees and to still temperatures tomorrow morning. Uh, pretty mild, especially along coastal areas. Of course, you go, go inland, it'll be a little bit cooler. Moisture, well, it's beginning to dry out a little bit. With that front pushing offshore tonight, so very little, if any, chance of rain tomorrow. Only a 10% coverage expected Monday, so the rain chances pretty slim as we head into next week. The big weather story is still going to be the above normal temperatures right around 80 each day next week with high pressure in the upper atmosphere. We have some rain in northwest Texas in the panhandle. A little disturbance there working northeast. We have high pressure over us in the Gulf of Mexico, keeping that storm track well to the north. There's our cool front pretty much right overhead, slowly slipping south. It's a weak front out in the Gulf of Mexico. And here's the reason for the above normal temperatures, not only today, but for all of next week. It's high pressure in the mid and upper levels in the uh, Gulf of Mexico, uh, keeping the storm track and the cold air well to the north. May finally see a change in this, though, coming up by the end of next week and next weekend. Tonight could be some patchy fog, especially near the coast. Overnight lows beginning to slowly fall as we head toward morning. Some upper 50s in a few spots in the lakes here in the triangle. We're talking right around 60, so a little bit cooler, not a lot. It's a very weak front that's working offshore. Tomorrow we'll see a mixture of clouds and sunshine, a little bit cooler than today. We won't hit 80 tomorrow. We'll be right around 70, upper 60s to around 70 for high. So a little bit noticeably cooler tomorrow, but after that, it's above normal all week next week. Seas two to three feet. The water temperature up a couple of degrees to 61. Gulf of Mexico tonight, partly cloudy with some patchy fog. Mid to upper 50s coming up for the lakes tonight near 60 in the morning in the triangle tomorrow. Well, instead of 80, we'll hit right around 70. So 10 degrees cooler tomorrow than what we've had today. And we'll see winds out of the northeast and east. And the warm front comes in Monday. We'll have an isolated shower chance. Very slim, low at 10%. And we'll see rain chances improving as we head finally toward next weekend. As we finally get a pattern change, we'll see some rain chances back and maybe some colder weather in about a week or so. But until then, it's yeah. highs near 80 after tomorrow. Okay, it doesn't feel like December this week at all. The at 80s, all. That's man. Way above normal. We're talking some 20 degrees above normal. Not looking like a white Christmas this <laughs> Not year. Not your favorite kind of weather, that's for sure. Right, that's for sure. <laughs>